Hey guys, Corey Hankerson here, author of End the Tax Nightmare, Insider Secrets to Beat the IRS and Reduce Your Tax Debt. So a question I get a lot um, about, offer, about the Offer and Compromise uh, program is how long does it take for the IRS to uh, accept an offer? Um, so at the time that I'm recording this video, um, the IRS is saying that, that they're taking anywhere from six to 18 months to um, to conclude an offer, right? Whether that offer concludes with acceptance or the offer concludes with um, them declining your, your, your offer. The whole process is taking six to 18 months. Now, I would add some more insight to that and say it's probably closer to the six month uh, time frame if you have a very simple or, or relatively simple offer, right? And what that means in IRS parlance is um, you have uh, the, the 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 taxpayer or taxpayers are are work, uh, wage owners, right? They work for somebody. They're not self-employed. Um, there are no uh, significant or complicated assets there. Uh, maybe they just own a car. They just own their 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 primary residence, and not a whole lot a whole lot more there to consider or evaluate, right? That's a relatively simple um, offer for the IRS to handle. You're probably going to be closer to the six six month time frame. Right. If you start talking about more complicated offers, um, like uh, one or more of the taxpayers are self-employed or owns a, a a large or medium business, medium sized business, you're going to be talking much longer. Um, if, if there are uh, assets involved that are more difficult to value or assets involved that are that are fluctuating in value uh, throughout the offer process. I had a case a few years ago uh, where the only assets involved were uh, stock in in a public in publicly traded companies. Well, normally that's fine, except that in this case the stock was was swinging wildly in valuation throughout the the process of the offer and compromise. And one of the key assets for determining the success or failure of an offer is the assets that the taxpayer holds, right? So um, the IRS is valuing those assets to determine whether or not you have the ability to pay and where those assets are swinging wildly in value as the market is going up and down, that made the process take uh, that much longer, right? But ordinarily, when you have a case that, uh, let's say, um, um, you know, the husband's a truck driver, the wife's a realtor, they're both self-employed. Um, nothing necessarily complicated about that, but by them both being self-employed, it's going to take longer than your uh, six to 12 month time frame. You're probably talking more along the 12 to 18 month uh, time frame. OK, so um, th that's a short answer. It's going to be anywhere between six months to 18 months. Um, the IRS does have up to 24 months uh, to to uh, either accept or reject an offer. If they go beyond two years or 24 months, then the taxpayer automatically wins. So you win, they lose if you go beyond 24 months. But I'll tell you that that's very, 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 very unlikely to happen. They all have all sorts of uh, systems in place to make sure that that does not happen. And in the event that they're getting too close to that 24 month time frame, they'll just reject the offer because the 24 months means that they have 24 months to make a decision, right? Doesn't mean they have to accept it. They just have to make a decision within those 24 months. So if you're getting too close, they're probably going to just reject it. Um, and then you have to uh, take other courses of action after that, which we'll talk about in subsequent videos. Okay. All right, guys. So that's the answer to the question. How long does it take for an, for an offer and compromise? Anywhere from six to 18 months on average. If you want to learn more about the offer and compromise process, I would invite you to get a copy of my book, End the Tax Nightmare, Insider Secrets to Beat the IRS and Reduce Your Tax Debt. You can get a copy of the book for free at endthetaxnightmare.com. There's a description, uh, there's a, rather a link to the website in the description below. All right. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.